So, a few individuals reached out to me asking how I made Ulti World styled scoreboards for a Tribes Tournament film, so I decided to make a tutorial on the subject for future reference. This will be the first video in a two video series on the subject, and we'll walk through the entire process from start to finish. The general concept for the scoreboard revolves around an image, your scoreboard, overlaid on top of your film. You will need an image editor as well as a video editor to make this possible. And I'll be using the free open source image editor GIMP as well as the free video editor DaVinci Resolve for my process. This first video will focus on the image editor side of things, mainly the creation of the scoreboard. Let's begin by booting up our image editor GIMP to start things off. With the editor open, uh, we can create a new canvas for our scoreboard. The dimensions you choose are somewhat arbitrary because you can always resize your canvas later. And for my scoreboard, I designed it on a 1280 by 556 pixel canvas, so that's how I'm going to start things off. With our new canvas, uh, we'll want to first add an alpha channel to the base background and then remove the colored background that is the default. Adding the alpha channel will give us a transparent background to work with, which is important since we will want to put the scoreboard on top of a video. A good practice in image editing is to use guides to help align the components you are working with. Guides are extremely helpful here, especially since we're working with mainly rectangular components. I've written down the guides for my scoreboard ahead of time, and you can find them in the attached instructions in the video description. As always, you can design your scoreboard however you want and adjust your guides accordingly. With my initial guide set up, I'm going to use the rectangle tool to create a rectangular selection that will be the main background for my scoreboard. The background here is black to help make our future text stand out. We'll do the same for the actual score section of the board, contrasting with a white background, just like how Ulti World does it. With our initial background set up, we can begin implementing the finer details of our scoreboard. The first detail we'll create is a layer for representing the team colors of each participating team. This helps viewers identify which team is which, especially if they have no pre-knowledge regarding the game. I generally create several layers of different color combinations so that I have presets for any opponent we play. Darker colors are generally advised because picking colors like bright red to represent a team that wears red will generally be too distracting on screen and can look amateur. You can find my color codes of choice in the video description below. Now we can work on the game label. This is nice for giving viewers context regarding what tournament this game is from and what stage of pool play or bracket play is being shown. Generally, a good bold font will do the trick, and I'm a fan of all capital fonts for these kind of things. My final choice here is Halus R Medium, and you'll see that I differ the starting letter font size from the other letters by around 10 pixels to simulate capitalization. You'll probably have to play around a bit to get the font sizes you like, and not all texts are of the same length, and I generally scale them differently depending on how much text I'm trying to display.
With the game label completed, we can now focus our attention on an optional point status label. I really like this label for indicating things like final scores, halftime, and universe points. I also have a game point option, but I don't use it properly. I tend to use it to indicate the last point played of the game instead of one team being a point away from taking the game. Once again, Halasar Medium is my go-to choice, and full capitalization along with some adjustment of character spacing makes it look nice. The next thing we'll deal with will be the scores themselves. Red is the color of choice by Ulti World, and I also love the look. Big Noodle Titling is the name of the number font used, and I absolutely love its crisp and clean condensed number style. I also use a little bit of a trick here to make the text box fixed in size and the text centered within the text box. This way, I'll never have to continuously adjust the position of the text box every time I update the score. Ultimate is a possession-oriented game with the concept of being on serve, like tennis or volleyball. As such, we'll need an indicator for which team is starting the point on offense and which point is starting the point on defense. I've downloaded an image of a white triangle from Google for use as my indicator, and we'll just slide it in right next to the scores as possession starting indicators. We'll be able to toggle their visibility in the future between points using the handy visibility feature for layers that is usually available in all image editors. Here we have two options for the beginning of our text line. We can either show the seeding of each team in the tournament or display their team logo. Both are great options, but I always go with seeding when a tournament is seeded, and I really only use the logo when the film is for a friendly scrimmage or a round robin type of thing. With logos, you really have to process them ahead of time to get them to be of your ideal colors and with a transparent background. Don't worry about resolution too much, these logos are really small on screen, and they're only around 80 pixels in dimension in our image editor, but they'll be even smaller when it eventually makes it onto the video. Now for the meat of the scoreboard, the team names. Halo Star Medium is once again the go-to font, and we'll once again go for full capitalization with slightly larger first letters. A 10 point font size difference generally is sufficient, and depending on the length of the team names, you'll either have to adjust all the font sizes to get the text to fit elegantly, or you'll just have to abbreviate their team names. Ulti World only leaves themselves room for 4 letters, and I absolutely despise that. That's why you'll sometimes see some very odd abbreviations for the participating teams. With everything set up, updating the scoreboard is simply a matter of keeping track of the score during the game and using that information to create an individual image file for each point. My workflow revolves around creating two images per point, one for the start of the point and a second one for when one of the teams score. I generally name the file with the point number of the game, followed by the letter A to indicate the start of the point or the letter B to indicate the end of the point. Always, always export the scoreboard as a PNG file and make sure transparent background is the selected option. Other image formats don't seem to support transparent backgrounds. Some other quirks in my design involve things like removing the possession indicator when I pop up the halftime or final scores and stuff like that. And that's all for creating the scoreboard. Once you've set everything up once and saved your image editing template, you can easily access and churn out scoreboards after a tournament. Keeping track of points during the tournament so you can just come home and make them is a massive time saving trick. Otherwise you'd have to rewatch all the film to find out which team scored during which point. In the next video, we'll look into taking our completed scoreboards and overlaying them on top of our film. See you in the next video!